Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're actually going to be talking about the Batman. So, we got some new set photos, and I want to start making Batman videos because I really, really cannot wait for the film. It looks amazing. I was actually on the set the other day, so I'm going to give you some insights as to what I saw and as to these new leaks. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos or DC EU videos later this year. Okay, so yeah, I was on the Batman set the other day, I got called by my friend, he was like, yo, they're filming the Batman in London, you know, come down to Somerset House, they're filming there. So basically, when I was on set, and we'll get to the new leaks in a second, the stuff that you're very probably here for, you know, you're excited for, but basically, what they were doing earlier in the day, this was about a week or so ago, I think it was one of the early days when they first started filming, and so, you know, London was made to be like Gotham City, this small little segment. Apparently a building was on fire, Bruce Wayne was on a motorcycle. People online mistakenly thought that it was actually Robert Pattinson on the motorcycle. It was actually a stunt double. So we haven't actually had any set photos of Robert Pattinson as Batman or Bruce Wayne yet. He's been around, he's definitely done filming indoors. But I believe he hasn't done any outdoors as of right now. But yeah, so they've been around London, they've been filming, and, you know, they've changed some stuff. I saw some American cars on the streets. You could tell that this was Gotham because, you know, the architecture is actually very similar around where they were filming. And basically, earlier in the day, there was actually some reporters, and it was obviously some sort of press conference. I'm guessing Bruce Wayne was supposed to be there. Pattinson could have been there, but I wasn't able to actually see if he was actually there, but... There was loads of reporters with like boom poles and everything, there was cameras flashing, so you would hazard the guess that's Bruce Wayne, right? And so at the same time, they were in Somerset House, which is a sort of well-renowned location in London. They were shooting indoor scenes there, so I guess the indoor scenes could be related to, you know, Wayne Manor or something, but I doubt that they would actually film all their scenes in there for Wayne Manor. So I'm guessing it's more like a sort of party or like a ball. Sort of like, if you go back to like The Dark Knight Rises, when he goes to the charity ball or something like that, that's the gist that I got. However, on the same day, there were costumes and there were people, there was, you know, extras on set actually dressed up in FBI gear, in gear that, you know, relates to the police. So I'm hazarding the guess that potentially Commissioner Gordon could have been there, maybe they've been called to this fire and that's why the police are there. And so, yeah, basically they were working around this whole area, so it's kind of hard to tell what scenes were together and what scenes were, like, filmed separately. But they used, like, three locations right next to each other, so that's interesting, and I thought I would bring that up for you guys, because that's my own little insight into the filming of the Batman recently. And so, yeah, let's move on to the big thing. Obviously, the big thing today, they just released some photos of Colin Farrell on the set of Batman, and... So, he's playing the Penguin, it's been confirmed by Matt Reeves, you know, the director. Also, I didn't see Matt Reeves the other day, but he's been in and around London, so... Anyway, so, yeah, Colin Farrell was on set, they had him in his full look, and you can see him as the Penguin. So, in this photo right here, you can see he's got a beard, he's got, like, this sort of goatee going on, and it's, you know, brown, like, sort of black, and, like, a mix of grey, but his hair is pure silver slash white and that's completely the penguin this is very much a penguin look obviously he is between takes he's having a coffee or something and he hasn't got his full wardrobe on but he's got his look he's got the look he's a bit more sort of chubby than normal so i reckon he's put on some weight for this role because you know the penguin generally is quite chubby and you know, this is part of the role, so, you know, big up for him for actually doing that. But yeah, you can tell that this is the Penguin due to his looks and, you know, his hair and everything. And I think I'm so excited for this. Let me know what do you think of this in the comments down below. But I really, really cannot wait for Colin Farrell because he's a great actor. And I think they've cast him perfectly as the Penguin. I can completely see that. I have no doubts about that. And obviously, I think the film's going to be really good because I trust Matt Reeves. I trust Robert Pattinson. I trust... All of the actors, Zoe Kravitz, who's going to be playing Catwoman, also obviously Colin Farrell as 
the penguin. So yeah, that is the first photo of him on the set. And there is actually another photo which is from further away, but it's still him. But this time he's in full costume and you can obviously see it's him. He's got the sort of grey hair. I know it's not that good quality, but it's the best photo we've got. And it's, you know, him actually suited up. He's the penguin. He's got this sort of black sort of trench coat on. He's got black shoes. He's got black trousers very much so kind of looking very sleek but at the same time what does he have he has the iconic umbrella the penguin umbrella and this is definitely him you can see there's police cars in the background I'm not sure if they're actually filming right now but it could be between takes but he's in full costume and this is actually him as the penguin and I just cannot wait I think this looks amazing and I reckon in the next few weeks we'll get some more set photos of the penguin probably but definitely we'll get our first look at Robert Patterson as Batman very very soon so be on the lookout for that and so let's move on to talk about some other stuff regarding the Batman so there have been some comments said recently by some of the actors and some of the people who are working on the film so I thought I would bring it up and include it in this one whole big Batman video and you know before we go on like I said at the start of the video please subscribe if you want to see more Batman videos because I will be sure to make them because I cannot wait for this film so yeah Basically, Zoe Kravitz was on a talk show the other day and she said this, The script is wonderful, it's really grounded and deep. I can't say more than that because I'll get fired. So yeah, you know, it's really good to see the praise and Zoe obviously has a haircut right now. People were kind of freaking out about that because it's very much so in the vein of, you know, Catwoman. So that's exciting. I think Zoe's going to be very good as Catwoman and I can't wait for all of this. And so... It's good to see that people are praising it and so another person who is working on the film Peter Sarsgaard has actually said this this is a longer quote so he said Matt directing the Batman is exciting the cast is so awesome it seems different from other Batman movies to me just with the cast there's something about it that has an edge it's young to me my perception of it reminds me of when I was in college and I went to go see the Pixies play and looking around the feeling the vibe at the Pixies concert. That's what it felt like to me. A song like I Bleed, that it has the energy and that sort of thing and isn't so specifically targeted to a very young audience or a very old audience, but has that power of chaos in it. So I don't specifically know the band the Pixies because I'm not old enough, but however, I've looked online and apparently their music is sort of a bit more moody. It's a bit more sort of edgy and I get the feeling that because you're casting Robert Pattinson, you're casting Zoe Kravitz, and you're casting these very young actors who have quite a lot of experience, especially Robert Pattinson, he's been killing it recently with films like High Life, The Lighthouse, it goes on and on and on. So I definitely got the idea that this would be a very different iteration, that this would perhaps be more moody because, you know, Robert Pattinson is a bit more sort of on the moody, sort of edgy tone of you know filmmaking basically and I think Zoe kind of fits him pretty damn well so yeah talking about his statement so he's saying the cast is awesome he's really really sort of excited to work with them I guess he's worked a bit with them already and so it seems different from other Batman movies to him that's what he says and he says that's just with the cast but there's also an edge it's young and to him you know it's very different from these other films and I think that's very exciting that, you know, Matt Reeves is going for something that is different, but at the same time, you have Tour of the Batman, who is obviously been done many times. You have The Dark Knight with Christian Bell, which is, you know, the most renowned version, and it's one of my favorite films ever. However, you have, like, lots of different versions, like the Michael Keaton Batman, you have the 66 Batman, it always changes and I think it's good that they are going for a different approach once again and I think the cast really really shows sort of the edge that they're going for. Like I mentioned you got Robert Patterson, Zoe Kravitz and then you have the other casting of Paul Dano which is very much so in the same vein as casting a, a Robert Pattinson. It almost feels as if like Paul Thomas Anderson cast the film if you know who Paul Thomas Anderson is and I just think it's super exciting and I can't wait for this film and so yeah that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed it like I said subscribe to not miss any videos and turn on notifications I want to make lots more Batman videos so let me know if you want to see more of that in the comments down below so I'll catch you guys later goodbye
icy room.